what is going on you guys hope you're all having a graceful day today we're going to be working on the front bumper trying to get the bumper cover pieces fitted to the fender flares so this rocket bunny kit oh i guess i don't want to call it rocket bunny kit we'll call it rocket bunny inspired kit it's hopefully going to be done today because that's all i need to do is i gotta get this piece to match with this piece damn and this car is almost done after all this that's the only fiberglass work that i need to do and then it's just all body work So the bumper is on a goddamn. Would you just look at that? Look how aggressive it freaking looks. Just being so wide. Damn. Of course you can't really tell because since the wheels are pushed in a lot more inside since I don't have the wheels, the wide, 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 wide wheels. But you guys will see soon enough. You guys will see soon enough. Look how goddamn wide it is. There is a little bit of more fiberglass work that I have to do right here because it is a little gappy right here and just a little bit on this side as well in the same spot but for the most part right here it's actually really good if it's perfectly except for over here this is the only part that we're gonna have to modify on this side uh it's basically the same thing this might need to be pushed out a little bit more um and then right here trimmed down somewhat and then of course right here we got to fix this i'm really hyped on that i'm really hyped how it looks especially with the lip look how low it looks with the lip damn son show you guys from this side and then we're just missing the side skirts of course i already took those off just look at this angle this angle looks so sick right here damn getting windy all over again every damn weekend during the week it's super fine but on the weekends it starts getting windy but anyways i already laid the fiberglass here i'm gonna wait for that to dry so i decided to primer up the rear quarter panel flares and goddamn from far away from far away it looks pretty darn good but the reason that i painted it was because it's kind of difficult when it's mismatched the panels it's kind of hard to see the pinholes so if i painted it white and since i painted it white you're able to clearly see all the pinholes as you guys can tell all right there so now it's going to make it a lot easier to apply the bondo and know where i need to apply the bondo So this was just a waste of time yes i was able to get it trimmed off a little bit to kind of make it match but it's not perfect but on the back side let me show you guys on this side that way i don't have to take that fender flare off as you guys can tell there's that much that i would have to fill in with fiberglass and there's a gap from the inside um so what i'm thinking is i, have, I mean i wasted all my time but i'm just gonna take this off this piece of the fiberglass that's right here and I'm just gonna cut the body line all the way across like that like if it was from the bumper to the fender the exact body line that there is I don't remember why I did it like this I can't remember quite why So 
So as you guys can tell, I got this piece all cut up and now it's a perfectly line all the way across. Um, all I need to do now is just fill it in right here, but it did give me an idea since this section is missing. If you guys are familiar with the FRS, it does have a side marker right here. And if you've been following the channel for a while, I picked up these side markers that are for S2000. These are JDM ones since they have the clear lens. And I was planning on putting it somewhere along the lines of right there, or maybe somewhere like along the lines of right here. But it's giving me an idea, maybe I can put them right here, somewhere right there. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Now I'm just gonna wait for all this to dry and we'll start the cutting of cutting it here reinforcing the back and we should be good we should be able to get these done today and that's gonna be the last thing I need to do the last thing fiberglassing that I need to do in order to get this front piece done there's no more fiberglassing things that I need to do except actually except for right here I just need to fill in these little crevices right here which isn't a hard thing to do it's pretty easy we'll probably get that done as well today of course we keep on going Though everybody know it, the truth about our way we tied it loosens up. I'm sorry, be cool, go on and fake it. We still know we will break it. We make the same mistakes we always made, and now let's face it. So I got it completely fiberglass as you guys can tell and it was a pretty good cut. Oh man, I just stepped on the Dremel. The Dremel bit, god damn it. Anyways, it's a perfectly clean cut where I cut it right here. So all that I need to do before I go ahead and sand all this, I gotta reinforce it in the back, fill it in, make it strong, and bond this piece, the new piece that I made, to the actual bumper cover piece. I got both sides trimmed off as you guys can tell the line is pretty good um, it could be a little bit better this one right here because there's a small little like it looks a little bit bigger right here compared to the whole entire thing um, and I still haven't shaved it down right here on the other side I kind of shaved it down already but I just need to fill it in with Bondo right here just a little bit a tad big so you guys can tell that right here is a low spot I might fill it in with fiberglass a little bit um, but as you guys can tell this line is a lot better perfectly all the way around the only thing is I don't want to, see as you guys can tell right here, I haven't finished sanding it, but I don't want to finish sanding all this just yet because I want to put some tabs on the back of this. That way, this piece of the fender flare, uh, the bumper cover attaches to the fender to the actual fender flare. So this side, I was able to make the bracket, as you guys can tell, the screws are pointing out right here. We'll just have to fill those in a little bit later or um, just trim them down and fill it in with Bondo. That way, you don't see these screw points right there. But as you guys can tell back here, if it focuses, yeah, right there. Of course we keep on going, though everybody know it. The truth about our way we tied it loosens up. I'm sorry, be cool, go on and fake it. We still know we will break it. We make the same mistakes we always made, and now let's face it. Though every 
everybody know it The truth about our way We tired and loose and stop, I'm sorry Be cool, go on and fake it So the other side brackets are on as you guys can tell, I mean, this bracket's right here, the other bracket's over there since I was working on trying to get the crack filled in. But we did get the bracket put on. Now it's on both sides. This side, we filled it in right here. As you guys can tell, you can see the material added. If I just put pressure, I don't even have the bolts on, but if I just put pressure with my hand, look how perfect that lines up. So that's pretty awesome. Now, look at this side, same thing. Slight pressure with the finger and bam super perfect even down there look i don't even have any bolts or anything like that so that came out awesome as well and as you guys can see right here are the brackets right here the other bracket right here the only thing is i do need to cut these off trim them down and fill it in that little hole that's going to be right there because this is going to be held in by a screw but with that i'll probably continue that in another video do all the body work needed because like, these are completely done i can actually start i can already just bolt this on put this onto the car and start doing the body work on the car with the fender flares on the car which is the last thing I, I need to do because it makes it a lot easier to do the body work when everything is on the car because if you do panel by panel say if I do the fender flare first and then the bumper cover like this piece the transition between this piece and the fender flare is not going to be like the same so that's all I was waiting for finish this up put it on the car everything can go on the car and the body work can be done on the car so i'm super stoked i'm super excited we got a lot of things done today um and that was pretty much everything i wanted to get done i'm probably going to continue but i'm, I'm going to start another video so we did a lot of work today we did a lot of work on the rocket bunny that got me a little closer to finishing the projects like i mentioned all that needs to be done is the body work stuff so i'm super excited i'm super happy and i don't think there's nothing else that i need to say i mean the work speaks for itself so that is where i'm at in today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace out and embrace yourself.